queens first i moisturize i actually never put it on cute like this but next we conceal i just do these red spots that i've had for like three months in the same spots and then i use this powder from cvs and a little beauty blender and i use like way too much and then i hop right into bronzer i go like this and then i make my forehead smaller well i'm not contour contouring yes oh Oh, and then I try to make my neck the same color. Sometimes I remember to put some in my crease like this and right here, tiny bit. This whole makeup routine is inspired by that glow filter, I think it was. This next part, I literally learned from using the filter, taking a screenshot and then looking at my face because putting the blush all the way, like on my temples basically, has completely changed my face shape. Like, I don't put it on the cheeks of my apples. What? Then I use an eyebrow pencil to bring back some of my freckles. I already have them underneath, but then they kind of get buried, so I bring them back. Okay, maybe I add some too, but you know. Spock wanted to say hi. Um, I do Fenty highlighter on the inner corners. Then I use liquid liner, and I used to just go up, but now I just kind of draw a straight line. Pillow talk, you know it. I only packed though. Okay, that's the makeup tutorial. Woo! Hope this helps. Hello everybody, I'm about to do another get ready with me. I'm going to dinner for someone's birthday. So I need to do my makeup and hair. But I'm gonna start with, I just did this eyebrow. Um, I take this tool and like literally shave it off. Okay, they look much better. I have microblading, so like there's no ruining my eyebrows. 
Like, I could literally... But anyways, yeah. Okay, they're done. Then I'm going to take my two foundation slash BB creams that I use. This one is Maybelline in uh, color medium. And then I use just a drop of this because I don't really like foundation. This is also Maybelline in the color Sun Beige. Okay, that's done. And now I do the NARS concealer in shade Custard. And I just put that under my eyes and then like on any red spots that I usually do beside my nose. Okay, next step is the Laura Mercier um, setting powder. And I just do that like everywhere I put the concealer. Then I take my Hoola bronzer and put it where people like put contour and then just wipe this powder off okay done with that then my favorite part this blush in milk makeup and it's color stardust and i just apply it with my finger and I know you're not supposed to do creams on top of like, like powder and bronzer, but I don't know. I love this. And then my brow fast sculpt by Maybelline. It's just clear gel. And I'm just gonna brush my eyebrows up a little. telescopic mascara okay all done I'm about to do my hair and come back and do my lips okay hair is done I'm about to do my lips all right all done <laughs> Pas de chance, aussi peu Mais pour moi, une ex Précation, vaudrait mieux The Outer Banks Paradise on Earth And that's me John Booker Rutledge And this is where I live it's the sort of place where you either have two jobs or two houses. Two tribes, one island. Three things I learned in a celebrity makeup artist masterclass. Avoid putting concealer where your blush will go. This will help keep the face looking plump and lifted. Set and then bake. This will give you the most bright flawless under eye. And no creasing. Curl your lashes before you apply. It helps to lift your eye. Make up game changing steps. I'm me, I'm Bobby Trippin, DB9, Bobby Whippin. If he say he don't want me back, he'd be lying. Bitch, I'm the source. Bobby Dippin, I'm the boss. Bobby Sippin, they keep telling me work it, I ain't got no choice. I'm all yours. Bobby Kissin, call the stores. Bobby Shippin, out or indoors, baby, I'm a floss. Wet, why of course, Bobby tippin', I endorse, Bobby strippin', mink carpet, but I ain't got no floors, doors look like wings, Bobby sittin', by the bank, Bobby trippin', curve niggas like they arm in a sling. Genius. So she starts by her eye, goes into the inner corner, down the nose, around the mouth, up to the ear, down to the chin, and then repeats on the other side of her face to create the illusion of this highlighted, lifted effect. I am obsessed! Look at this! I'm gonna be using the next Born to Glow Radiant Concealer, and I hope I get the same effect. Okay, her. Oh yeah! 
this worked. Doing my eyeliner like different salads. Bella Hadid. Um, Ariana Grande <laughs> Madison Beer I guess my friends were right Each day goes by and each night I cry Somebody saw you with her last night You gave me your word Celebrity inspired eyeliner, Adele. Who did I people? Do I have a trick for you? Here's how to open up the lid space. Grab the highlighter you were using on a flat brush, tilt your head and place the shimmer right through here, all over, up until the brow. Put it on, baby. Notice the difference? Let's do the other eye. And here's the final look. I love the effect that that highlight does, and it's so pretty. All right, guys, back at it with another makeup routine. This is actually from yesterday night. I was getting ready for Swade's dinner she was having. Anyways, happy birthday to the queen herself, and let's get into my makeup routine. So I already went in with the floss filter, and now I'm going in with the Charlotte Tilbury foundation. This is more of like a heavy coverage look, but still comes out looking super natural. Just got to put more on for the photos, you know? Anyway, I blend that out, and then after I wipe off my lips... <laughs> I actually forgot to do concealer. I end up doing that later, but now I'm going in with the e.l.f. Putty Bronzer. I went in with a brush today, and I actually loved the way it applied. It's way better and less uh, splotchy. So now kind of out of order, but I went in with the concealer. This is how I applied it. I put a lot on tonight. Um, like I said, I just wanted to look good for the photos. Also, I don't know if you can tell, but I did clean up my eyebrows, so I look cute again. Then using a brush to blend it all out. Um, this is my new favorite method of blending out my concealer by far. Hello, everyone. <laughs> I got Gabe to say hi to you guys. Anyway, I've just been blending my concealer for a while. Now going in with the brighter concealer, um, Game Changer. My voice kind of sounds weird when I'm laying down, so I'm going to sit up. Then I just blend that out. Um, I put some underneath here to clean up the bronzer I did, too. Now for blush, I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. one. This is the shade Turks and Caicos. Now that I think about it, I feel like I should put the Charlotte Tilbury one on top next time now we are doing some translucent powder first with the brush and then second with the beauty blender i don't know why i do this it just makes me feel better i go pretty ham with the beauty blender and then i pat it in slash brush it off kind of thing wipe it off my lips because i always get makeup on them now for the powders i'm using the hula bronzer putting it all over the place and then contouring my nose then for powder blush i'm using the will powder one in the shade perseverance then my Charlotte Tilbury highlight ran out, so I'm using the Jouer one, which I'm not mad about because it's my favorite concealer right now, or what? Highlight. Just super glowy, and I put it, like, everywhere. Just like that. Now I'm doing my eyebrows with some eyeshadow. I use an angled brush, and then I use, like, a spoolie and just brush it out. Um, and that's just how I do it. They look like a lot right now, but I promise once the eye look is done, it turns out really good. Then for eyeshadow, I use like a white one, and then I go in with more of like a darker shade. Then I go under my eye, and then I kind of bring it out a little bit. And then I go in with like a really dark shade under my eye on my waterline. And um, I'm showing you where I put it all, but you kind of get the idea. And then I'm doing my freckles with the eyeshadow brush, curling the lashes. Then I'm putting on some fake lashes on the ends only. While those lashes dry, I'm doing my lips. I used the Jouer lip balm today. It was so nice. And then this is the part where the look really comes together. I'm doing the mascara. Look at that. I seriously was really happy with this look today. Fenty Beauty highlight. Boom. So apparently this is how Kim Kardashian contours her face. So we're going to try her technique. I already have my foundation done. So let's get into the rest. Okay, so first I'm going to start by placing my contour, and I'm going to use the Makeup by Mario Contour Stick in Medium Dark. So I did go ahead and start placing the contour. Um, I am a little bit worried about how she has it placed right here, as you guys can see, because I usually bring it up higher 
but we're gonna copy her exact technique and do it her way all right so now that all the contour is done we're gonna go in with the concealer okay so we are gonna start with the forehead all right and it looks like she just does about three lines like that underneath the eye do the same to the other side okay now let's do the jaw here It does look like she has like some blush and highlight as well too. And does she put the concealer on her lips? It kind of looks like it. So I'm just going to do, I'm just going to do it. Okay. I'm going to finish off the rest of the concealer and I'll be right back. All right. So this is what we have. I hope I positioned everything correctly, but let's just get right into the blending. So when I was blending out to this part here, I was blending upwards. That's how I usually blend out my contour, just because I want to make sure I'm lifting the face and not dragging it down. So now for the nose, I'm just going to lightly blend it in and then I am going to diffuse it more with a beauty blender after. Everything is blended out. Obviously, you can go back in and fix it up a bit if you need to, but now I'm going to do my powder and the rest of my makeup off camera, and I'll be back with the final results. Okay, I'm obsessed. What do you guys think? I refuse Should I love you, but I couldn't help it Had a feeling that you never felt it I always knew that you were too damn slow